So we're a week and a day from Halloween, but Pugaween comes just three days from now. It does. Since 2008, the first year, this event has tripled in size. There's a lot for people and, of course, pets to do. From Pug Partners of Nebraska, Jessica Ellis and Nicole Tromler and Lillian <laughs> Doug. Yeah. They're dressed, They're dressed as. And we love they Doug. Husker. We yeah. love Doug. Husker as a dog fans. Name. Yeah. Yes. Doug, 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 the Doug the Pug. Doug the Pug. Doug the Pug. Great fitting. So this so, year you put them in Husker gear. Yeah, yes. they're Husker fans this year for Halloween. How do you decide? Because last year Lily was Marilyn Monroe. Uh -huh. Was that last year? Mm -hmm. I mean, you kind of went for these so. uh, celebrity costumes yeah. last year. How do you pick? Um, <laughs> it was a hard, a hard pick, but we figured uh, the Huskers would be cute. We hadn't done that one, so. Yeah. Are they real Husker fans in real yep, life? Yep, they are. They, are. they, they yeah. watch the yeah, games? They, sure are. they watch the games? They oh. sleep they through most of the games. <laughs> they do. <laughs> we understand. Right, okay. they'll, they'll rally for yeah. the end. When so what kind of good. costumes do you see at Pugaween? We what, see what all kinds of stuff. Um, last year, one of the really good ones was an E.T. Um, a kid had a bike and yeah. he had the pug in the basket. That was a really cute one. I could see a pug as E.T. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And look at some of the pictures. You see yeah. there are a ton of people who come to this event. Yeah. Just pug owners? Nope. All dogs are welcome. All, uh, all dog breeds show up. We have <laughs> little chihuahuas <laughs> to the big mouth. Chia, yeah. chia, chia, chia pug. Chia pug, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Oh my gosh, people are so clever. They are. Well, yes, the every year they have get to better. Be comfortable for the dog. Mm -hmm. You don't want to put them in something that they're miserable right. in it. Right. So look at some of these. So what what is there to do? What kind of activities are there? Um, kind of so we have the costume contest, obviously. Um, we have three categories this year, and then we have the pug races there. Um, and oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You have pug races. We have pug races. How, yep. how does that usually turn out? <laughs> well, as you can see in the photo there, um, they don't always go straight out. They sometimes just like to smell each other or, you know, <laughs> so you put <laughs> wander in those, around. So you put them in those boxes that uh -huh. have the gates on them, and then you pop yep. the gates so yep. pop the yep. door open. And whoever and gets to the, to, uh, the end wins. Is there a treat at the end that Yeah, for the winners them? there are. Yeah, mm -hmm. we do a whole, a whole row of them. Can we so. revisit the costume contest? You said there were three categories. Yep. What are they? Um, we have most original. Uh, Best duo group and best non-pug this year. Oh, any activities <laughs> for people? Yeah, um, we have a big raffle and silent auction, so lots and lots of products um, from, it's a lot of just people stuff, not all dog stuff, but mm -hmm. obviously there is a lot of great dog stuff. Um, we also have a lot of vendors there. Mm -hmm. um, we have pug, a pug store for pug partners, so mm -hmm. we'll have our t-shirts for sale as well. Um, and the kids area too, so we've there's talked, a bouncy house. And we've talked to you over the last several years about this event, but it's yeah. really grown. Why is it, it why has. do you think it's grown to the extent that it has? Um, because people love their pugs and it's a fun <laughs> event. I mean, pugs are adorable to begin with and then you put them in costume and it just takes it to the next level, you know. Yeah. Remind us about the mission of your um, organization. The mission of Pug Partners is uh, we rescue pugs and find them forever loving homes. Mm -hmm. So we take them in from a variety of um, places and they go into foster care and get adopted. Nicole, why do you love this breed? You know, I fell in love with pugs a couple of years ago. They're just goofy looking dogs. They're so sweet and they're incredibly affectionate. Mm -hmm. Are they always this mellow? Because Doug is now... <laughs> he's out. He's almost nap time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, quite frequently they're not. Mm -hmm. But um, every now and then you get this calm moment. Yeah. Well, and uh, we've got you, one now. We do. Do you need <laughs> tickets for this? People need tickets? Yep. And uh, you can go on our website, which is just pugpartners.com and get your tickets there um, and save a dollar off all the admission fees. Mm -hmm. So, An event this size, I imagine volunteers play a big role. Yes, Is there still room uh, to help need? with volunteering? Um, yeah, actually, we have a few slots still left. Um, mm -hmm. If you go onto our website um, and our Facebook page, we also have that posted there. So Great. And the money raised through, but yeah, you just saw, save a dollar on admission. You saw mm -hmm. how to do that. Mm -hmm. um, but but the money raised, where does it go? It all goes to help for the, um, the medical funds of our pugs. So mm -hmm. a lot of the pugs that we rescue have eye issues or will have, um, you know, knee surgery needed or something like that. And it will end up costing us thousands of dollars to help them get yeah, so to you be need adoptable. That money. This event's at the National Guard Armory. Can you explain exactly where that's at? 72nd and Mercy. So it's the road that you would take down to the Xarban Village area. Mm -hmm. um, it's right on the uh, southeast corner of that intersection there. Thank you both for yeah. coming in. Thanks and Doug and Lily, yeah. go Big Red. Yes, go Big Red. Yeah. Go big Thanks red. a lot. So the Osmonds.